I'm Tracy Doran. Welcome to Behind the Build. Today we have so much happening on all of our job sites, but I get to meet with Kirby with Barber Cabinets to see our gorgeous kitchen come alive. I have to tell you, Kirby, this is going to be the most gorgeous kitchen that I've ever seen you and Barber Cabinets do. Yeah. Well, at least for me. I know you've done many gorgeous <laughs> ones, but no, this one, I think this one might just take the cake. They did a lot of upgrades in this kitchen, <sighs> and it's a showstopper for it, sure. It and they shows. did something different that not a lot of clients that we've had in the past will do. Right. So they kind of stepped out of the box a little bit and did like the bigger upgrade on the hardware. They did the two-toned uh, cabinetry. They did the latches on the glass doors up top, and all of these will get glass doors. It's gonna be phenomenal. And just the size of this hood yes. is amazing. And I love how you suggested bumping it out. Even if this wouldn't have been two-toned, I think just bumping it out like that, making the center cabinet a little bit deeper, and even if that was you know a window with a sink or something, that's always nice because you just have that extra space. It's a simple detail with not an, a huge additional cost that many clients need to take advantage of if they can. Right. Um, all of these things are just great to have in a working kitchen. No, I, I totally agree. And the quality is just untouchable. Thank it you. is gorgeous. Thank it always you. has been. And this is all wood. All wood. So you got the natural finished birch on the right. interiors. You have natural finished maple on the drawer boxes. And then you have, you know, all of the all wood products. So you have the hickory and the um, the alder. Yep. And I yep. love the soft close. Everything we do is soft close. Never hearing a door or drawer slam again uh, is music to my ears. Absolutely. So, and I think one of my favorite areas is going to be the future pool kitchen too. Yeah. That those matches the finish. Doors. But the doors with the metal insets that I found years ago that you've had in your office for three years. So I think those are going to kind of really be a showstopper. The there. perfect so, spot for them. The perfect so. spot. So Kirby, remind me again what this finish is. This is our aged oak on hickory. Okay. So what I love about this finish, mm -hmm. and you know, I did invent it uh, with your assistance, what, mm -hmm. eight or nine years ago, I believe? Oh uh, yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> but what I love about it is it can take on different looks. Here we're doing it with light floors. Over at the Craftsman Golf Cottage, we're doing the whole kitchen in this, and then the island lighter. Yes. with darker floors so it can totally take a different look sure so in that job we did the whole t entire kitchen and went light on the island yes and here we did more of the two tones so we brought the island we, we did the island darker and then incorporated it into the main wall people will mix and match colors and right. then sometimes just do the whole entire kitchen all in one so it'll never go out of style to me it will just get better with age agree 100 percent well i'm excited me too i can't wait So day two, so what were you just telling me? Trying to get all the clean dirt out of here first okay. before we get it all mixed up with the rocks so that okay. we have something better to work with later on. But uh, what we're looking at, we're trying to go about seven foot deep in that corner and that will get us to this height to, to be level with this house you next door. And different ledges of rocks gonna dictate what, how we're right. gonna so we're going to do that. We're about three feet down, maybe hair mm -hmm, over, mm -hmm, and we're mm -hmm. at the exact same level as the Summer Classics house, two doors over, when, when we, we started to skim the rock. Mm -hmm. so, yep. um, so I think we have about a foot we can work with. We can sit the house up a little higher if we need. Right. I, I, if, if we have to make that call, you know, what, once we get going on it, uh -huh. but obviously you're going to have to bring in the whole ram. Yes, so. most likely. <laughs> Which is normal, bringing, yeah. you know. Um, okay. Most likely. No, good deal. And you're doing a four foot over dig? Three foot. Three foot over dig. Three okay. foot over dig. Okay. So, yeah, so, so it looks do. a little close to the house next door right yeah. now, but it'll be. It's, it's still going to be about 10 foot off the property line. Yep. But keep it right wall, at our middle. Where the wall is going to be. So. Okay, okay. And this is the side that we have those two window wells. Mm -hmm. So, you have to just slightly dig those out. Right. Where are you coming up out of the hole of the excavator? In this back corner? Are you going to come up out of the corner? I don't know. Corner? I might go out there, right there. Okay. It depends how much uh, rock I dig out because I, I got plenty of room in the front and I got more room in the back here too to right. stockpile. But uh, I may go both ways. I don't know. Okay. 
So, and I see where you've carved out the two crawl spaces. We have yes. it under the laundry room, off the kind of the back of the kitchen over there, yeah. and then the sunroom. So oh. that's nice. So we can fill that with rock and then waterproof it and everything. So mm -hmm. that'll work out well. Um, when we get to backfilling this one, we're going to have to work with the homeowners because that mound over there right. on that side of the garage, yeah. we're going to have to kind of shave that out of there. When this neighborhood is put in, these weren't even lots that were thought about. Right. So we're going to have to kind of shave some of that out of there and reconfigure that a little bit because that's where that driveway is going to be right. off that back. But we can do that on backfill. Would that okay. be the best time to do that? Probably. Probably, okay. yeah. Okay. okay, well, I'll let you be. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So Katie and I finally made a decision for the spec house for the flooring. Okay. So you and I thought it would be more this tone in the oak, just kind of more the natural oak tone um, in the engineered hardwood floor. This one was definitely too dark. Okay. Um, they went with this lighter, what would you call it, almost like a whitewash or? Yeah, that pickle? wider French oak. Yeah. Because this is where the market's going a lot. We've done this in a lot of your houses. People are going away from those darker tones and going a lot more light and modern. Yep. No, I, I love it. And the knots are really cool. And I love that it's an engineered floor. So it's, you know, you're not going to have the movement like a sand stain and finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't um, have that expansion and contraction. It's right. a lot more environmentally stable, except, especially for the Ohio Valley region where we are right now. Yep. This is our final decision. So we're, we're good to go with this. Okay. So for this for the hardwood. What about yep. the carpet? What did she decide there? So they love the pattern carpet, of course, with a mohawk. Okay. Um, but I think the Karastan um, this one that almost has like the little multi-flex in it. Mm -hmm. So this gorgeous. one's a tonal, so it's got your two different colors into it. So it's not as dramatic as when you get those five or six different colors in there. Yeah. So you've got your two tones, so it's a little bit more dynamic than a solid color. But what I love about this too is it's a smart strand. So especially if they have kids, pets, anything, stain free and it'll be great, especially for however long they're gonna own the home, this carpet's gonna wear for them fantastic. And what I love about this too is it can go gray and brown both. So they're not stuck with just one color, but that's that definitely the most popular color on the okay. board. And we're gonna keep that consistent throughout all the bedrooms on the second floor. Okay. The hallway upstairs will be the hardwood. Okay. I do want to go ahead and carpet from the first floor to the basement. Okay. Um, I think we had planned on that originally, but right. the only other upgrade they're going to add, we're going to do hardwood in the master. Okay. So maybe later they'll come to a gorgeous area rug for you all. But, right. Because, um, you know, I think they want that coziness under the feet, mm -hmm. but the hardwood will just be forever. Right, exactly. Okay. And then they never have to go through and change it either. Send us a request for a deposit. Mm -hmm. Let's get it ordered. and. We're probably about three to four weeks. All right, yeah. So. We'll get it okay. ordered and get it on the schedule. Perfect. I'll leave these with you. All right. Okay, thanks, thanks Katie. Yep. Each home is a different piece of art, and James Hardy attributes to the look and feel of the home. It's so authentic. The design and durability is a package deal. You just can't beat it. It is created to handle all aspects of weather. You have the different colors and the profiles. Having that consistency, having that reliability, you really feel that you're at home. And that stands the test of time. Are you thinking about building a home from the ground up or creating your dream kitchen? My Southern Home with Kimberly Greenwell, presented by Barber Cabinet Company, is the only local television show in Kentuckiana that introduces you to home-related experts that can help you build or create your dream home. Tune in to WBKI CW58 Sundays at 10 a.m. to meet Kimberly's home experts and visit MySouthernHomeTV.com to view her inspiration gallery, read educational articles, and to watch past episodes. Ready to have your own private pool? Davenport Extreme Pools has been creating gorgeous pool and patio retreats for homeowners all over the Kentuckiana area. Start to finish, a Davenport Extreme Pools outdoor living specialist will hold your hand through the entire process. From designing the perfect pool to excavation and installation, they will be there to help you every step of the way. Stop dreaming of your own private pool and start enjoying it. Call Davenport Extreme Pools today or visit us online at DavenportExtremePools.com. Need new flooring for your home? Fabulous Floors has you covered. Whether you're looking for carpet, hardwood, or waterproof flooring, Fabulous Floors has hundreds of colors and designs to choose from. Don't feel like getting out? Their virtual showroom, FabulousFloorsKentucky.com, allows you to see what the flooring will look like in your home and view their product catalog. 
With national brands like Mohawk, your flooring will look fabulous. Stop by a store today or visit us online at fabulousfloorskentucky.com. The look of the indoors has found its way out. Trex Decking and Railing. It's where enduring beauty and longer lasting performance bring your idea of outdoor living to life. Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Visit Trex.com to find Trex products near you or to find a builder. I'm here at the Craftsman Golf Cottage, and this is one of my favorite times in construction. When the floors go in, the house just comes alive. Tom and the crew from Fabulous Floors are installing our engineered hardwood floors today. These floors we actually had to reselect because the other ones got discontinued with the whole COVID thing and kind of the lack of product thing. We had to definitely pick something else out because the other ones just weren't available. But this one I think is gonna be a better choice. This is actually an eight inch engineered floor and it's a seven ply floor. The great thing about these floors are that I can put them in in new construction. They're not gonna shrink and expand. They're dimensionally stable. And this one has a really nice thick layer of the actual wood on top. And the finish is just incredible. It has a lot of variation and looks like a salvaged floor, but it isn't. And you just can't get this look in a sand stain and finished floor. So for new construction, the engineered floors are my number one choice. So who'd you bring with you today? That's my dog, Ida. Ida? Yep. Wait, Ida was just a puppy last time I yeah, saw her. Yeah, she's getting Oh. <laughs> okay, well, you met me out here before, but now's the actual day. We're, we're bringing in all the, the big dog machinery. Right. And going from there. The first machine you see here is a forestry mower. Okay. It mows up to like the six to the eight inch right. tree. That's what we usually have. Right. But we have bigger trees here, Correct. so we're okay. And then the machine behind it is a fellow buncher and uh, it, it cut, actually grabs a tree, has a saw blade on it that cuts it off. Right. And. Uh, Hose a tree, but you can stack them in different piles. Gotcha. For uh, gotcha. And I know this is a small job for you all, so usually, you know, right. you're taking out a lot bigger things and subdivisions Correct. and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I want to be conservative, just like I know you guys always are, because nobody wants to cut down a tree, of course. Right. But the driveway is going to come in there. Um, I, I'm keeping all these trees as you come into the left and the bunch here on the right. I'm not getting rid of any of those. Okay. I'm actually going to add trees but we want to keep this natural. We've got the Summer Classics house next door, which we took out all those trees, right. what, in the fall? Yes. Um, so with this house, we're actually coming down this winding driveway, kind of natural, and I've got to do this one so we almost have like a courtyard driveway because I don't want to get rid of the trees because we've got this other house backing up to us, which I kind of want to block. And you've, you've met Matt, my husband. Mm -hmm. we, this may be our house. Okay. Um, we're kind of 50-50. Okay. So um, we love this. Our kids fish down at this pond, and we love the trees. We love the water, and we love Persimmon yeah. Ridge. So, um, yeah. So I, I don't love the idea of doing that courtyard garage, but I want to keep that buffer of trees. Yeah. So we went through and marked and put big X's on the ones for sure. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have the driveway. I mean, the excuse me. We're gonna have the garage starting at about this stake. I went and kind of measured it out preliminary about where we're going to be. Okay. Um, so the garage is going to kind of go from this pink flag to that pink flag pulling in over there. So that's why I took out this chunk of trees. I didn't really want to get rid of any of these. Okay. Even though um, we've got to watch the elevations of the house and everything. Right. Do you think, and, and this one will go straight back, I didn't put a flag back there, do you think these, I, I, yeah, I can't I lose that. Do you think fine. we're good? Yeah, they all look good. Okay. We Far do need to way. take that branch out of that one, I think. Okay. That, because of the, the concrete trucks and everything right. coming in, just that one branch. Okay. So then, I'm thinking, 
The property line's way over there. I want to keep the house probably about 30 feet off the property line, which I put a flag here. And I kind of see the front of the house here. I think it really helped for me to come out and measure this. And maybe the, once we're finished, you know, you can check it and make sure you're good. Double check it, okay. It, it kills me to take down this group of trees right here, but I really wanted to tuck the house back. Okay. My question was, if the house is approximately here, obviously this one's got to go. Right. Can we keep these? I mean, we're going to have an over dig. It's probably here, and the house might move over a little bit. I'm yeah, not 100% sure. That would help sure. probably with these, if you want to try to save these. All right, we're um, going to get started. Yeah, and oh, and there's a couple stumps. Can we get down to we'll, those? Yeah, we'll get them. Okay. We'll, we'll do a walk through and we're completely done. Okay. And make sure you're happy. Okay. Yeah, I, I want, it's like I want to save all the trees because I want the woods, but I want a little bit of, a little bit of it cleared too. Okay. So kind of that happy medium. Sure. So that, that's the, like, it's killing me to take down all these. Okay. Well, do you want to see if the other machine's here? Yeah, let's we'll check get it going? out. Okay. Some of my best advice for potential home and lot owners, if you're going to be building a home, is to actually have your builder or a potential builder go out and look at the lot that you are going to build. Walk the lot with you and talk about the type of house you're going to build. The other thing is to get with your banker. I have Gina Ashley here with me today with River City Bank with our builder pro tip. Yes, so you're right. Getting with your builder is first and foremost. Um, but next, the very next step is to get with your banker and make sure that you can get your financing for your lot, your new construction. Even if you are just doing the lot right now, it can sometimes be wrapped into your construction loan, but you need to make sure that you have that financing so that you're ready to go when your builder is. Are you in love with freestanding tubs? How about tub fillers? Dreaming of a gorgeous faucet to finish off your farm sink? From creating the perfect master bath to your dream kitchen, BK Plumbing Supply Designer Amy Bray is here to help you every step of the way. With years of experience designing beautiful spaces, Amy will guide you through the process, helping you pick out the perfect pieces to create your space. Call BK Plumbing Supply today or visit them online at bkplumbingsupply.com. Since 1948, Barber Cabinet Company has been creating beautiful cabinetry for families all over the Kentuckiana area. Whether you're wanting a gorgeous new kitchen, a lower level bar, or a dreamy master bath, Barber Cabinet Company can blend your ideas with our experience to create the perfect look for your home. From the first consultation to installation, our designers and craftsmen create a customized look based on your design style and needs. Call Barber Cabinet Company today and start designing your dream home. Is your power out again? It's time to give Corgan Electric a call. Our Briggs & Stratton backup generator system will have your power back on in no time. You know us at Corrigan, give us a call. You may not always be able to see exactly what everyone is thinking, but at River City Bank, we know that everyone has their own dreams. We want to make your dreams a reality. Whether it's the right account or the right loan, we are here to help you every step of the way. Now with the branch open in Middletown. For over 36 years, Grasshopper's Land Clearing and Tree Service has been helping residential and commercial customers with tree maintenance. From emergency tree removal to land clearing, Grasshopper's has the equipment and experience. Visit us online at grasshopperslc.com. Okay, can you move a couple inches to the left? I'm totally kidding. Um, 
So is this one of the last fixtures you have to put up? What are you all okay. doing? Hey, Troy. How are you doing? Stay away. Stay away. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, everything away. looks like it's going great. I've checked on them a couple times this week, and Marianne, and I mean, they're just doing fantastic. Yeah, it looks like they're done. Uh, they've done a few things. I think we have uh, to talk about the generator and the master bath we yes. need to talk about. So you know this house originally started out as a spec house. Yes. So we got a homeowner, we got a buyer, uh -huh. right after it got framed. Because they love the floor plan, love oh, the I house. Remember, yep. Yep. Great. So now they are thinking about a future generator. They can't do it right after they move in, but they're thinking about it probably within the next year or two. When we're wiring the basement, we'll wire for the generator, even if they don't do it right away. Any of your spec houses, any okay. of the customers that say, hey, I want a generator, but right now, obviously, we're putting the pull in or we're trying to just get moved in and we'll worry about the generator later, we can always do that. Pre wire it. Um, and essentially, it's a junction box on the side of the house, so it looks like a little air conditioner uh, disconnect and then set up for later, get the pad, the generator later, and the service is already set up for it, so there's no manipulating and maneuvering around that they have to worry about, it's ready to go. People always ask me, do they have to do the whole house or do they um, do part of the house or just some of the things like the refrigerator and the furnace? Uh, 90 something percent of our customers are whole house because once they look at the investment, why not go all the way? Now, if you have a larger house, um, like a couple of other ones, like what you're doing on the other side of the neighborhood, right. on some Ridgeman 400 amp service versus this 200 amp service, then the situation comes up, let's do one full 200 amp panel, cover everything. They're camping in their house, luxury camping. It's not even luxury glamping. It's right. camping in their home, living normal. Uh, they still, they'll still they never know it's they had power outage besides clocks flashing when they come back. Okay, and it seems like other neighborhoods I'm building, everybody is asking about a generator. Whether it's a 10 minute outage um, or you're having a, an hour, a couple day outage, uh, it, you, the inconvenience, the problems it creates, the resetting, uh, everything in the house, uh, it's just, it's a nightmare and you, people are tired of it. And we have a great utility companies around here, but they can't control the weather. They gotcha. can't control everything. Yep. So uh, that's where we're seeing our outages. Yep. Marianne, I think they just had a, uh, one or two more light fixtures to mm -hmm. hang in the master bath. Okay. And the homeowner told me this morning where they wanted that hung. Um, I think she just went back. Okay. There, so I need to kind of let her know. I'll follow you and stay away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So Marianne's working on the other vanity right now. But this was the vanity in question. Yep. Thank you for putting your mask on. Well, we're so, this room's so small, we can't, get, we can't get far enough away. I know, I know. Um, so this light, mm -hmm. we know we want to hang it down with the globes down. Yep. In this case, we want to keep it symmetrical, but the homeowner has this vanity, which we changed after they took- From being uh, a flat vanity. Exactly, to, okay. exactly. So I love that we customize it for our end. We still have room for the tub here. But I think we're gonna go ahead and still center the light fixture and put a big decorative mirror and treat it still all as one. Okay. So that the light hits the same way. I Is that what you would recommend? I would because look at this. I mean, you're, when you're looking at, I can't reach all of a sudden too short, but when you're all of a sudden, look how bad that looks. Yeah. And then she's gonna have a big mirror, so it's gonna be offset. But okay. if we get it up to our normal height, get it where it doesn't overhang the mirror and it looks okay. good. You don't have to worry about the globes. You know, the back of the globe is not. Yep. Our goal is, you know, obviously never to be over the mirror. Yeah. Um, I mean, reflecting off the mirror, but above the mirror. Okay. No, I think that's a little great. I think that's, okay. it's going to match that vanity over there for his vanity. Uh, you're not going to have a funny, why did you do this situation? Yep. So when they walk in. But no, looks okay. good. Let me go ahead and get Marianne back in here. I know she was on me about the height and everything and exactly where we wanted it placed. Okay. And uh, we'll be good to go. Great. So I'm in the lower level of the staycation home and a lot has changed. If you remember from season one, this room was supposed to be originally the pool room, but we changed it in to the family room or the TV room. It was also supposed to have the TV on this wall and we thought that the sofa and the sectional would face this wall, but we had to make some changes. Originally, we thought we were gonna put some windows or some interior windows that looked into the exercise room. Well, that really couldn't happen because we had to get ductwork in for the HVAC unit to get it to the far end of the house. So things like that have to change during new construction and we had to adapt. So we turned it, made this wall the TV wall, made the soffits here coming into the TV so it was really symmetrical. 
So the workout room doesn't have the natural daylight that we wanted it to have, but now, more importantly, we have this great room area that has a symmetrical wall off of these soffits that focuses on the TV viewing area. Nestled just inside the Shelby County line is a community like no other. Persimmon Ridge, rolling hills, wildlife, and gorgeous lakes create a rural living experience with all the amenities of any city subdivision. Located on one of the premier golf courses in the region, Persimmon Ridge homeowners live on spacious lots overlooking the golf course, woods, lakes, or natural surroundings. With home sites ranging from one third acre to over 22 acres, Persimmon Ridge offers the perfect setting for your dream home. Call developer Lauren Just today or visit PersimmonRidgeDevelopment.com. When it comes to plumbing, you don't want to trust just anyone. Thompson Brothers Plumbing is a family owned and operated business that prides itself on continuing education, dependability, and quality service. From new construction and remodeling to general repairs and maintenance, Thompson Brothers Plumbing provides fast, affordable, quality service for both residential and commercial customers. Schedule an appointment online at thompsonbros.com or give us a call at 502-742-7500. Are you thinking about building a home from the ground up or creating your dream kitchen? My Southern Home with Kimberly Greenwell, presented by Barber Cabinet Company, is the only local television show in Kentuckiana that introduces you to home-related experts that can help you build or create your dream home. Tune in to WBKI CW58 Sundays at 10 a.m. to meet Kimberly's home experts and visit MySouthernHomeTV.com to view her inspiration gallery, read educational articles, and to watch past episodes. Since 1948, Barber Cabinet Company has been creating beautiful cabinetry for families all over the Kentuckiana area. Whether you're wanting a gorgeous new kitchen, a lower level bar, or a dreamy master bath, Barber Cabinet Company can blend your ideas with our experience to create the perfect look for your home. From the first consultation to installation, our designers and craftsmen create a customized look based on your design style and needs. Call Barber Cabinet Company today and start designing your dream home. The mulch yard has a large variety of mulch and wood chips to help your landscaping pop. Need a place to dispose your lawn and land debris? Drop it by the mulch yard and let their team dispose of it for you. Visit tmyard.com for a full list of products and services. Thank you for joining us. Tune in next week to see the owners of the spec house get the keys so they can move in.